Blood clots are an important physiological process that actually help to protect our blood vessels in case they are damaged. And this includes both arteries and veins. And the way that a blood clot is formed is that if there's damage that occurs to that blood vessel, there's going to be an increased amount of platelets that are sent to that area. Now, platelets are quite sticky, so they're able to stick to the walls of that blood vessel that are damaged and then send out clotting signals that are also released into the bloodstream. And these clotting signals are able to activate a variety of different proteins. Some of them include thrombin as well as fibrin. Now, fibrin will also be sent to that area of damage, and it forms a mesh around those platelets that have now stuck together. And effectively, this is what's known as a blood clot. Now, over time, that blood vessel will heal, and it's our immune system's job to go in and clear out that blood clot. However, if that doesn't happen and that blood clot continues to grow, this can lead to serious consequences. Some of these, for example, include deep vein thrombosis as well as pulmonary embolisms. And I previously did a Q&A on these type of conditions and I'll put that link in the description below so that you can go and check that out further.